While talks between the North and South Korean Red Cross Association have resumed after five years of silence and massive relief is now on the way, another group has been working to help relieve the food shortage since 1995. The Eugene Bell Centennial Foundation, or EBCF, provides relief to North Korea through private donations. Its mission is to prevent scenes like this, children starving and people scouring the countryside for roots or weeds to eat. Dr. John Linton and his wife, Dr. Gina Glass, Lee Linton, uh, have both coffee. traveled on goodwill so missions to the North the as representatives of the foundation. What are some unique things that you've seen or what did you see overall that impressed upon you the most? Looking at the countryside, uh, there's very few trees on the hills. Um, I think a lot of it is being used as fuel. Uh, many, many of the, the rice fields coming down were filled with sand from the flooding. It's very, very obvious that they're dealing with, uh, they're having hardships there. EBCF has delivered over 65,000 bags of rice to hungry North Koreans and plans to continue to do so. Through their efforts, the foundation has made contact with some government officials in the North. Mrs. Linton inspected food shipments in North Korea last month and met with the Minister of Agriculture. During the inspection, members visited delivery points to ensure that the food was reaching those who need it and had a chance to interact with people. With these eyewitness accounts, it's obvious food is not the only shortage in North Korea. The motel keeper um, handed us a little candle lights and said, you know, I'm very sorry because the day we have gas, we don't have electricity. But the next day I was there again, no electricity. The third night, the whole city was dark. At some point, unification will come, and I think it would be terrible at that time for a North Korean person to say to a South Korean, hey buddy, why didn't you help us out when we were having such a hard time? You live so opulently, you have so much, and we have had so little. Uh, I think it's a chance that can be missed, if you know what I mean. The foundation intends to continue its deliveries to North Korea this summer. As long as people remain hungry, the organization's mission remains the same. Airman Kane Fairbaugh, AFKN News.